Hello everyone, as you can see this is the Asus laptop model number X355L around 15.6 inch recently when I turn it on it shows the bio screen by itself okay so I will explain you what's the reason and how to resolve it so first let me show you what's the problem is I press the power button it should show Windows 10 because the system does have Windows 10 but instead of coming Windows logo, it comes to the actual bio screen. Okay. If you have similar issue, then you have to understand this one shows because the actual BIOS doesn't find any bootable option. So because of there is no any proper boot, it doesn't show either your boot system is damaged or maybe hard drive is damaged or something happened. So if you have similar scenario and if you don't have any important data what you can do we can fix that issue okay but if you do have data then take out the hard drive or SSD manually and recover it first before you proceed this procedure otherwise you're gonna lose everything so first I'm connect the USB so what I'm trying to do I'm trying to enable the USB boot so that I can try to install Windows 10 and while I try I can see if it does show me the actual hard drive which one is in there or ssd okay so let's connect the usb one and we're going to go to first advanced from here the first thing i need to make it enable the usb configuration so go to usb hit enter if you found it disabled like that legacy support make it enable once it enable press escape once go to security from security to the bottom one secure boot menu which is that one hit enter secure boot control enable you should make it disable so make it disable escape then go to boot from boot menu as you can see the launch CSM means disable make the launch CSM enable otherwise you would not be able to reinstall anything from the USB drive because you're not going to be able to see that in the boot menu so I'm going to hit enter once it's done then we're going to go to advanced again just to double check boot also is shows everything is fine security secure boot also disable good now we're going to save the changes save the changes what we made for this system and we'll reinstall it hit enter now we're going to able to see f10 we're going to able to see the actual boot logo into the screen okay so hit enter and now we're going to able to see the boot logo either from the actual drive or from the usb all right so let's check this out As you can see, this is the setup page. So do whatever you need to do. Click next, install. All right, so accept the terms and condition. Next, custom installation. From here we can see the three three partitions so that's mean the drive is by itself is fine but the problem is there is no any operating system in there otherwise if there was any issue with the hard drive or SSD the Windows installation was not going to find that is on the list as you can see so we definitely need to install uh, Windows 10 in there or whatever you like and then it should be fine okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna complete the process you know this one take a little bit of time I'm gonna pause the video completely and then I will try to turn on and we'll find out if the issue is resolved or not so let me pause the video and complete rest of the process so what you need to do from here you need to choose one of them 
okay let's say you want to install this is my ssd and i want to install windows 10 in the ssd so i will choose that one if i want if i would like to install windows 10 in my hard drive then i will choose that one and then hit next and it should go to the next label which one everybody almost knows so let's pause the video and see what happened all right so windows installation already done what i'm going to do now i'm going to take out this windows 10 usb bootable drive and because of this one automatically recognized that one so it came back to the beginning okay beginning of the installation guide so i'm going to close it and we'll try to see if this one turns on from the actual uh from the actual ssd or not here we go as you can see the windows logo and now the issue has fixed already so that's how you fix the issue if you see uh, after pressing the power button shows any bio screen by itself then definitely you have the issue with the uh, boot water okay or might be in the hard drive so follow this guide and solve your problem and if it doesn't fix also let me know in the comment section and if it does help you then please do subscribe to my channel and i hope i will see you in the next video guys thank you so much for watching bye for now